Greetings, saints and angels, <laughs> and beautiful heavenly creatures. Welcome. Welcome if this is your first time here and welcome back if you've been here before. We are going to get a message. Well, I said we're going to go to heaven together. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a prayer before this, so. Invite the perfect presence, peace of heaven, in the form of the glory cloud to descend and fall on everyone who wishes to receive it, who's listening. Send the fire of God and the rain of God in whichever form is most beneficial to everyone listening. You restore everything as you do it in us and show us how. Harbinger. He is so cute on an adventure. I love him. His little lantern. Well, that's interesting. There's numbers falling. Bunch of bats. Harbinger. A light beckons us forward. Bats swirl around this harbinger, but what news do they bring? Numbers tumble down. Seven is the number of seeking, of thinking, of moving forward on a quest. Nine marks its territory as selfless and compassion. Our creature then is showing us that a new journey awaits. The bats may come from our own internal dark place. Rather than scary, they are simply helpers. The numbers are also gifts to you. Study them, learn about them. Be compassionate with yourself as we were all beginners at some point and we will all be beginners again. Follow the path of inquiry currently calling you. Open your eyes to see what light is in front of you. This isn't a time for delay as the call of the journey is now. While you may want to plan more or think things through, you need to do that en route. Ask yourself what you actually need in this moment. Perhaps you can grab a pen, a snack, and a journal. All else that you require will be found. Some journeys are long while others are short, but when you receive this signal, follow the signs. You will be rewarded for your trust. Seven is seeking, thinking, moving forward. Nine is selfless and compassion. So let's do this. Moving forward in compassion. How or not how? Something about moving forward. What are we moving forward towards? <laughs> okay, you know what we need to have compassion on ourselves more. Hmm. Okay, perfect. So this is gonna be short and to the point. <laughs> I can already tell. So this is harbinger, right? If you're not familiar with that word, I mean obviously you can Google it, but it's like someone who begins something like the harbinger of spring would be the the initiator is maybe another word for it or the beginner the the spark it's it's sort of the energy of the fool card right with the lamp turn and like going out on a quest and it even said something about these bats being somewhat foreboding to others but maybe that they would actually be 
helpers along the way. What we're moving forward toward is a change, like a metamorphosis, right? And I'm seeing this mirror image is really important. It's like we weren't really enjoying what we were seeing in our reality. And so we're going through this metamorphosis. We have this butterfly popping out of a cocoon here. And what we need to give ourselves compassion for is not being able to see the entire path. Right? It's like even with this lantern here, it's like you can't really see. Like, right? Like, he is on this journey of moving forward to shift, make a big change here. But the moon is like intuition, the unseen, the unknown. Like, you can't really see exactly where you're heading. And even this path, it's like, how do you make a plan for being there? You kind of can't. And the first steps taken are in through this forest where you can't see. All you know is sort of like where you're going to end up. Like, I know I'm going to end up in the clearing, but I'm not sure how to get there. And I'm not sure what's going to be between me and there. And so it's almost like this is holding us up, this need to see 10 steps ahead. is a little bit tied to control and it's a little bit tied to just the fear of what we've seen in the past or the maybe the mistakes and failures that we've made but this is why we have so much assistance and with these bats they do echolocation right so they make a sound and then that sound bounces back and that's how they hear and know where they're at and and we've got these wolves howling too this has something to do with sound creating a sound maybe what you can do is you can actually kind of speak out that which you want and see how it feels and then make a shift if you don't like it, right? Like, I think the biggest thing that holds people back is seeing, thinking, okay, well, what if I get what I want like yesterday, you know, like so quickly, but it's, I get there and it's not actually what I wanted. Well, this is why we use echolocation. You kind of let out the sound, you do something a little bit and you see what bounces back and then adjust accordingly, right? This is the gift of mirroring. This is the gift of the external world mirroring and showing us that which is internal it makes the path clear as you go because you're going to see you're going to have actual feedback as you go right and so as you notice the differences and the and the similarities of like oh, oh dang it like this again like and you can tell yourself all the stories you want to about like how well you're doing but your reality is giving you accurate feedback and so this takes a lot of courage to be willing to take the step and make the sound and then receive the feedback and I think we're sort of not really receiving the feedback which is that lack of compassion like we had said and so just know like everyone's on this journey everyone's seen themselves mirrored in something and it's actually like really to your credit like if you're willing to take responsibility for that like you deserve a blue ribbon and a gold star <laughs> And I wish I had both to give you, but I don't. Um, so instead, I would just say thank you. Like, thank you on behalf of the collective that you are willing to be honest about this mirror, to go on a journey where you didn't have all the answers. And I bet you anything that both you and everyone around you is going to benefit from the bravery that you had to just take the step. And so we're being given the gift of a, a new journey of this, this metamorphosis. And, and it's recognizing all that is around you as the gift of feedback that it's like the reality is the opportunity of metamorphosis not that it's waiting it's that you're in it it's happening right now it couldn't not <laughs> it couldn't not happen I'm gonna leave that one there this was a short and sweet one thank you guys so so much for joining me i've loved using this new deck with you guys i'm really really glad that we busted it out um i have such a resistance to like the love and light decks but i am really glad like that resistance is breaking and it does have its place and you know as like a creator and an artist i don't know why i even feel like sharing this but it's just like i i do a lot of things and this is part of my Gemini moon as well, that it's like, I don't really understand why I'm doing it. I'm just, I'm doing it to receive the feedback and to get information. Like I'm kind of always in this zone, very consciously of it. And um, 
for this series of like the heavenly and the underworld readings i really did it just to like give myself the feedback i was like i feel like my nose is still just stuck in problems and stuck in the negative and right like i love digging up blind spots so i need to give myself that outlet but i was like i need something else i need like i'd actually need more love, <laughs> love and light so I feel like using this deck for the heavenly readings, we've got there a little bit more. And then as my resistance continues to dissolve, I do have a few decks I want to get that are more like angels and ascended masters and light worker decks that I think will really help us actually have the contrast of digging in the dark of the blind spots and the bright light of possibility and um, ourselves kind of merging those opposites uh, through this work. So I hope that you guys are feeling that a little bit more now that we're using this deck for the heavenly uh series it was definitely like i knew that that was in me that like really intense just blind spot stuckness and sort of being stuck only only <laughs> focusing on this thing so you know thank you guys for going on this journey with me and being patient as i'm at, like i'm actually using this to teach myself as i go through and um i actually i i like listen to my own readings because i don't always remember what i brought through and um, it's like really been such a gift. So thank you guys for co-creating these. I'm so honored that they seem to be resonating with a few of you and that I can be resonant with them as well. And I'm so grateful to you all for pulling that out of me and, um, yeah, just having fun with me on this. It's like, I've really, really loved it. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. If you want to connect with me, all the information to do so is in the description box below. And otherwise I'll just see you in the next reading. <laughs> Bye.